guys um i've gotten lots of requests to show you guys my island um because i love doing island tours on this channel and a lot of you are curious to see what mine looks like so my island is midsummer inspired um if you haven't seen the movie and you are 18 or up i definitely recommend watching it so that you can kind of understand the type of theme I'm going for. Um, so my island is a huge work in progress, but I wanted to show you guys just what it looks like so far. And if any of you have any ideas or tips, please let me know. So let's get started. Here is my map so far. Um, yes, it is called Ocean Eye after a Billie Eilish song. Um, I do kind of regret naming it this just because it doesn't really fit the theme of my island. I thought originally I would want to go for a more tropical theme, but gotta do what you gotta do. Um, so I have Eric, Kid, Dizzy, Stitches, Apple, Cube, who is my favorite because I had him on my wild world island when I was just a little girl, Maple, Fauna, Kiki, and Marshall, my literal king who I would die for. Um, oh yeah, and my boyfriend. This is the outside of my house. Um, as you can see, there's a little white phone box up there that looks really pretty in the rain. Um, some flowers. And then this, of course, is just where I'm keeping my hybrids for now um, while I'm working on it. This little area is done. It's a cute little picnic um, with a little table, a lily record player, and a uke. A little pink bathtub. Come up here, and this is my Abel sisters. Lots of flowers on my island shop and this is my museum area um, it's just kind of surrounded by this cliff so it looks really pretty when you're doing the flyover of my island this is probably my favorite section because if you come over here it's very pink and purple and fairy like and I have a little piano here with the piano stump to play some tunes to my gnomes. Have a little mushroom farm over here. Now come this way. Hi Apple. Did some terraforming over here as you can see. And this is right by my house. So this is what you see when you come off the airport, and um, I really like the moon up there, it's kind of hidden. Now if you go this way, um, you start to notice things maybe aren't as pretty as it seems when you first um, walk around. So we have a little missing sign. This is supposed to be a berry farm that's kind of overgrown and abandoned. Um, I really like this. And then there's a little, kind of forces you down a path over here. Some more terraforming and a wishing well on the left that again is super hidden and secret. Now this is another one of my favorite parts. Um, oh, Fauna wants to talk to me. Come down this path, I have some mushrooms, a little street organ, and I have a little cake shop over here, um, which I love. You can do some typewriting at this mush table. Um, yeah. Come down here, we have a garden wagon, tiny library up there, of course, a Stonehenge. And then I do have a little farm over here too. I love, love farms, so I had to incorporate another one. Come back this way and we have another little cliff up here. Um, now 
Now this is the first time you're starting to see some gravestones. Across the bridge and um, have some black and purple roses over here and a little graveyard. Not really sure how I feel about this yet. I'm probably gonna change this up and make it look more abandoned. Then we have a little flower field over here, which again looks really beautiful until you see the tombstone. Come this way. This is another missing sign. Um, this is Fauna's house. Little train station down there. Um, I love this part. My to nowhere. Um, again, kind of creepy. Come over this bridge and again you see another tombstone and fairy circle with a, a doll. Some hardwood, which I don't know why that's there, so I'll pick that up. Um, another creepy little section over here. There's Marshall's house. Um, I'm a simp for Marshall, so I gave him his own mum garden and riverside view um, because I'm obsessed with him. Now, come this way, and we have Dizzy's house, some interesting looking Polaroids that look like they were kind of dropped, and a little textbook. secret observatory to kind of watch the waves and um, this is another one of my favorite parts so you see a missing sign and you come up here and you have a little creepy spell casting area um, moon, a dolly sitting on a mush log and some more other side of the farm area and again I'm working on this cliff making it all black flowers um, I just need to breed some more but and then this is just the other side of my berry farm um, so I did only show you guys the parts that are finished there are a lot of parts that need work um, even some of the parts I showed you might need some updating so if you liked anything or didn't like anything Constructive criticism because I'm sensitive. Um, yeah, 
So let me know what you guys think and I will keep you updated.